Well, welcome, welcome back to the uh, channel again. This is gonna be my second video of the day. I hope this works out because I wanted to do like multiple interviews of how he acted, but I don't know, but, uh, this, uh, you know, I was good, you know, it's how he was, how Danny was acting during the, the relationship with, yeah, my, yeah, <laughs> say your name, metal. <laughs> she was all up in there. Sorry. Um, um, but, uh, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to be doing this, but first one I thought of analyzing was the, this interview. Um, and the, uh, red carpet interviews for Alice was kind of like, might be somewhat a con kind of you know <laughs> but um, I just felt like this one was a good one to analyze because of what he said at the end of the video <laughs> or interview yeah so, Start at least this, so yeah. Okay. Mm. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined, I'm joined now, now by the man himself, it's Mr. Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp. And, and Johnny, Johnny welcome to the And I can tell and he's, he's probably back in London town. <laughs> it always feels great to be back here, you know. Um, it's so like it's like the sort of second home. I've done so many films here. I think I've done more films with a British accent than I have in America. Um, the first thing I noticed in his video, um, or this particular interview, a lot more fidgety than he usually is. Um, That's how I see it. Mm, continue. Um, let's, let's talk, talk about, about that, Hatter, because, because it's, it's this brilliant, eccentric creation, creation that you brought to life in the first movie. How does it feel returning to the role for the sequel? Um, you know, it felt great because these, you know, these these characters that you get to know and you get to be for you know long periods of time over a certain amount of time, maybe six months. So, so when, when it ends, ends it's just, uh, that, that horrible, horrible goodbye, goodbye you know, you know, to this, to this, uh, uh, this thing, thing that you've, you've been. been. But to be able to come back and to be able to work with me again, to be able to work with James Bowen, who, who, who took Tim's work and kind of, you know, did uh, this wonderful collaboration uh, of their the work together. So he made it his own. Um, me, I, I just felt lucky to be there, basically. And also, I also noticed he would be um, more... Uh, <laughs> ...able to talk. And also... <laughs> I guess what must be interesting, though, for you as, a, as an actor is the fact that we really learn a lot more about the who, the what, and the why of the Hatter in this movie. What made him the Hatter? What was it like delving into the character's history? I mean, it was great to have the opportunity to see other layers, you know, uh, sub-layers of the Hatter, to see, to see him so lost and so gone that... Uh, that he's fading, that he's fading into death, that he's fading into into nothingness, and um, obviously the only person that can help him is uh, is Alice. Um, 
throughout your career, I mean, from uh, the likes of Ichabod Crane to Jack Sparrow to Willy Wonka, you've created characters with very distinctive voices. Where was the inspiration for the Hatter's wonderful accents? Where did that come from originally? Um, it actually came from a tutor that my children had. <laughs> when I was shooting on location, there was a tutor there. And she, and she, she sort of had that sort of, you know, that thing. And then, and then I just sort of you turned it into that thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You know, it's probably schizophrenia. <laughs> you to know that uh, the Mad Hatter is based on them. She probably knows now. <laughs> Um, now, it's a, a stellar cast in this movie, uh, including a lot of great British funny people. And uh, what was it like reuniting with all of them on set for this sequel? Well, yeah, no, I've worked with all, all, of, these, uh, all of these actors so many times that it's, it's, uh, it's like going back to family. Especially when, you know, when Tim was at the helm of, of, of these, you know, I don't know how many films we've done together. But uh, there is this kind of family that, that, that Tim has surrounded himself with. And who were also involved in 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 uh, this this film, you know, James uh, directing. So I mean, any time that Tim uh, wants, you know, I mean, I I shoot I shoot someone's uh, I make a film out of some of these sort of uh, Twitter <laughs> thing. <laughs> Um, now, now, obviously, obviously as, well as well as all the fans, fans here in uh, Leicester Square, we're being watched uh, online on Facebook by thousands of people around the globe. Do you have a message for your fans right now, Mr. Depp? I'm scared to death. <laughs> I'm frightened, and I don't know what to do. I'm confused, and I want to go home. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only genius that is Mr. Johnny Depp! And that was a bit kind of you were <laughs> which then by the band a word sign for us says and he was he didn't frighten because of you know she was out no, maybe <laughs> but that's one of the same interview that I People were talking about so talk about that one first. Yeah. I don't know. Do another yet or do this in parts? That's already like seven minutes in. So maybe I'll do two, three parter like one, one, and then I found two other ones that I can do later doing another video so um so if you like the video like um comment down below if you um like the, what do you think you think about this oh and hopefully i can make the uh not another on another interview or something like that. So, hmm. oh, and uh, um, uh, end of the April twenty fifth. Um, the um on uh, a charity live stream with uh um hosted by uh t talks about and it's a charity stream for Lyceum. I don't know what it's gonna be there. She's going to make a video uh announcement about it so I don't know when she'll do that but Uh, bye and see you in the next video.